Hello, welcome to GIMP for Dummies Part 2. Last time we went over some of the basics with cropping and resizing, things like that. This time I thought we might go over a couple of really important photo editing tools. Um, they're pretty simple to use. They are the Levels tool and the Curves tool. So start off with your picture open. Notice how it's really dull, kind of flat looking. This is really gray. I'd like this better if these were just popping and everything else was pretty white. So if I go to Colors up here, then go down to Levels. You see Curves is right below it. But we're going to Levels, and you'll see the histogram. So the goal is to make the boundaries of the histogram range from all the way over here to all the way over here. And as it is right now, they're going from here to here. It's not that great. That means we don't have a very wide range of colors being used. So you see all these little triangles here? You ha can grab them and move them. And look at that. If I move this over to the edge of the histogram, already infinitely better. I can grab this, move it over to the edge of the histogram too. So moving this over will make it lighter. Moving this over will make it darker. Moving this will do all sorts of crazy things, which you can mess around with if you want. One is the default on that. So you can put that there, put that there. OK, great. Hit OK. And it went from that to this, which is way better. Another option is go to the Levels tool again. And this button down here, Auto, you can hit that. And it'll do it itself. But as you can see, in this case, the Auto button really didn't do that great of a job. So I'm going to go ahead and do it myself. OK, so I'm going to show you what happens on a different picture. I'm going to go to this one that I have open. And you see how it has a blue tinge? So we're going to go to Levels again under the Colors tab and do what I did before. And it's really, really blue. And that's not good. So what you could do is you could try the Auto button and see what happens. And if I hit it here, in this case, it does a really good job. It doesn't have much of a blue tinge at all. I can pretty much fix that on my own from there if I wanted to. But what if you have a blue tinge and the Auto button doesn't work? That's when you need to go over here to Channel, Value, change the value to red, and see if you go to red, green, and blue, it will give you the individual histograms for each of those colors. So let's start with red and fix that one. We're going over right here to the edge. Same thing with this one, right up to the edge. That well, looks kind of weird, but that's okay. Now go to green, same thing. And that looks really good. Um, compared to how blue that was when we were trying to do it on our own without doing these separately, this is good. We can go to blue, but if we start changing that, this is probably going to, yeah, that start make, starts making it kind of blue. You can mess with that however you want to try and make that not happen. See, like, yeah, I'm going to keep it on one. And you can hit OK. So this is what it looked like before. This is what it looked like after. Much better. So to recap, what I just did was I went colors, levels, tried moving the white to the edge and the black one to the edge. Didn't really work. You could hit the auto button, let it do it for me, but sometimes that doesn't work. So instead you'll go to value, make it red, fix the reds. It'll look funny, but that's okay. Now fix the greens. Should start looking a lot better. And then mess with the blues a little bit. And hit okay. And there you go. So now I'm going to go back to the original picture I had and show you how to use the Curves tool. So go back to Colors. Curves is right underneath Levels. Click on that. And you'll see this line right here. And you'll see the histogram underneath it. So if I click anywhere on this graph, it's going to make like a little point. And if I put my mouse on that, you'll see the little cross arrows. Move it around. And it'll change things. So I'm going to reset that. Generally what I do 
is I will try to make a gentle S curve. So I'll put one dot above, one dot below, and there it is. See how flat this looks? And then once I do this, it'll make things a little bit lighter. Anything that you put above this line makes things lighter. And then I'll put one dot below the line. So I'm making, by doing this, I'm making whites whiter and darks darker. Because if you remember from our histogram earlier, the histogram goes from darkest colors to lightest colors. So here we are making whites whiter, because they're on this side, and darks darker. You can hit OK. And there it is. Uh, so those are the super basics. I'll show you it on the other one just so you can see. Go to Colors, Curves, S Curve, and there it is. Alright, so that's all for this video. Um, look out for the next one. I'll probably go a little bit more into photo editing. And yeah, hope this helps. Bye!